Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing a brand new airbrush company, an upstart company called Gallery. That is G A A H L E R I, Gallery. And uh, they have an entire lineup of airbrushes, a compressor, and some paint. Uh, the paint and the compressor are on the way now, so uh, hopefully, I'll have those this week for a second video review. We'll be testing that separate. Uh, but today we're going to be going over their airbrush line, and um, it looks like there's four of them, five of them, one, two, three, four, five. I don't have the Supreme, I believe they're working on that now, but we have their Advanced, their Premium, and their Ace. And um, I have them marked as far as pricing goes. 39 bucks for the Advanced. Not all the features are included, but you are going to get two needle and nozzle sizes um, and two cup sizes, removable cups, uh, drop-in self-centering nozzle, and a quick nozzle lock is the features on this. The next one up will be their, a their premium. This is just a 0.38 millimeter needle and nozzle, a very good size, by the way. It's between their biggest and the smallest. Um, Excellent atomization with low pressure, very important feature. Extremely polished pot, I'll show you that. And uh, the quick needle lock in the back, as the other one is also listed. And this is the Ace, this is the top line that I have right now. This will include the .38 millimeter and the .5 millimeter needle and nozzle. It's a dual action, they all are. And the same thing, we have the excellent atomization with the low pressure. Removable pots on this one, you only get the one size. The drop-in self centering nozzle reduces the possibility of nozzles clogged. And the extremely polished, easy-to-clean um, pot, I will show you that. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll start, uh, we'll start with their top model. Why not? This, I didn't show the pricing. Hold on, we forgot. The pricing on this one is, I wrote them on the box, so I know, 89 for, oops, hit the camera, for the uh, premium, for the premium, that's the 65, this is the GAT 39, and this one is the 98, and this one sells for 119.99. Now, here's the thing, these, uh, usually when you see a new company come along and make an airbrush, it's usually just these quickie knockoffs uh, you see on Amazon, and, um, Almost, you can tell they're almost the same, pumped out at the same factory. These, um, however, this is a whole, these are designed from the ground up. You can tell the company has taken uh, their time here and designed a really nice product. And uh, you will see what I mean. The packaging alone is incredible. And this is a wonderful feature. Inside the box is a breakdown, the schematic of every part that comes with the piece. Check this out, including the extra needle that is included with this. Beautiful instructions, not multi-language, just in English. I'm guessing they're gunning for the American market, where I am. Beautiful, full English, illustrated instructions. What you should see, which is correct, which is wrong, how to fix them, how to clean it. Disassembly, beautiful, beautiful job they've done here. They have a Facebook, a website, everything. Everything with the company is listed here. And here is, this is their top brush so far. I guess there's one above this, but this is going to be their overall top sellers for guys like me. It comes with, look, extra fittings. And this is the brush in the box. Even comes with a tube of lube. Here is the extra nozzle and needle. Um, in it is the 0.5. It's a little on the heavy side. I personally do like one that's a little heavy. It's uh, got a very smooth trigger action. Very impressive. Comes with a cap, which is great for cleaning it. You just put, oops, you just put this over the front when you're going to backwash. All right. Comes with. A quick release. Let's see if it fits our quick release stands. It does. There we go. 
Now I'm going to show you the pot. What they mean by a... Uh, hold on guys, let me get this out of here. What they mean by a uh, high polished unit. Here's it comes with a cap. And look at that. It's almost like a mirror. Um, what can I compare it to? Let me grab this. Here's my uh, Badger. Look at the difference. I mean, this makes for real, real easy cleaning. A great feature, a simple feature, and um, go figure. It took these guys to uh, figure it out and include that in. So there you go. That's the polished cup. Leave the cap here. Let's go ahead and put the cup on it. Now, the other model has two cup sizes. There we go. And this, of course, comes with an extra needle and nozzle. This is the 0.38 millimeter. I went ahead and put the 5 in it because I wanted to test I wanted to test the larger size seeing that we already have one with a .38 in it so we will go ahead and uh, test that separately now here is one of the key features let's go ahead and disassemble this one okay here we go um, I'll give this against me so I don't ruin it uh, they feature a bendable needle I wouldn't bend it too much but uh, it's uh, almost like a spring steel and um, holds up pretty well. It still rolls smooth even after my bending it. But I pull that out so you guys can see the nozzle in the front. Let me take it off the stand. All right, it's got a cap that can come off also, but let's go ahead and just take both off like this. It has that same drop-in nozzle, kind of like the Badger and the Iwata have. I'll hold her up for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Now, here's the part I want to show you guys. The, the uh, nozzle head here in the front. Let me go and pull this out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get this closer to me so I don't drop it make it go flying across the room. Hold on one second. All right. I just want to go against me with my tweezers because I didn't want it to go flying. See it? And that's the nozzle. This controls basically everything. Now, this is one of its key features. It's how it's channeled with eight little channels... I can show it to you against the back here. It's got, oh, you know what? We'll put it on this. Here we go. And see it? See the channels? See, it's like a gear. There's eight of those. And um, when the air is coming through the gun, it's going to channel around all eight of these coming forward. And uh, if I can show you, let's leave that there so you guys can see it. If I can show you some of the other airbrushes, they don't have all those chambers. This is my uh, Badger, my Badger Patriot, and it has one coming through up here. All right, let me show you the, uh, hold on guys, let me put this back here. I don't want to lose the nozzle. Here is my, oh, my GSI Creos, my beloved GSI Creos. Again, not a polished cup at all. I'll show you that. All right. Oh boy, I don't know if you can see it. This has three. Oh, it's gonna be tough to see in there. Damn. Inside here is three. I can see from here on my end. One, two, three in a triangle shape of the three ear nozzles where the air pushes out. So this one has three. The other one has one larger one, and this one has eight. Let me get the uh, GSI out of the way here. All right, so that is an important and key feature of this airbrush. So let's go ahead and assemble it back up. I'll show you one more time. I'll put it between my fingers so you guys can see it. There we go. See it? Look at that. You can really see it there. And uh, really nice to clean this out. You can use one of these airbrush cleaner needles. And these come in various, various sizes, but this one should be fine. You can clean it out with that. But uh, you probably won't need that for quite a bit. You're going to have to uh, basically have paint build up here. But you can just drop it in here, or you can put it in the top. Yeah, we'll go with the top. We'll go that way. Just drop it in. See how it fits in nice. And just line it up. There's also a rubber washer here between the front nozzle and the gun. 
it fits on good. That's on good. Let's put the needle back in. And we're good to go. It fits really nice and snug, which means there's a good washer here or a fitting that's really, really doing its job. And there we go. And it also has a cutaway and it has a uh, stopper here, which the cutaway makes it easy for me to uh, line it up when I put it in. It's got a rubber washer here also. And there we go. Very comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'm, I was kind of impressed right off the bat just of the build quality and the unique features. And um, you can tell the guys are trying their best here to release a good quality product. Now, the eight chamber idea is because you can airbrush at low PSI. And I'm talking 14 PSI for paint. And I'd go maybe 17 if you want to push out some primer, which we are going to test. I even got my little Camaro here. We're going to put some primer on it. Or my Lamborghini Jota, one or the other. So yeah, that is this brush. Let me put this one aside. All right, and then the one just below it is the premium. Now check this one out. Same excellent packaging. You could tell it only shows one needle because there's only one needle in this one. See that? A larger cup, but it's attached. Let me get the cap off so you guys can see. That same nice cup. Look at that. And um, this is a 0.38. And this is for finer projects. And it uses a different needle type. It uses the type of my GSI Creos. So it's a little bit different. It's probably geared toward a little bit finer painting. There you go. So that is, it's basically laid out the same. It's just that the smaller nozzle, a different type of needle in the front. We're going to uh, test the nozzle out in a little bit. But, of course, you're going in at 89 bucks, so you're uh, 30 bucks less than the other one. All right, I'm going to keep the cap separate because we're not going to put that on. All right, and then we'll go for the entry level. The advanced, this is the $39 model, 39 bucks. All right. Same guide. Put this aside. Now with this one, very nice. You're going to get basically the same stuff. The extra washes, the extra needle and nozzles. The gun is almost the same. It would appear to be. I'm going to put this this way because it doesn't rub on my hand that way. See, it? it's just a pet peeve of mine. All right, let's go ahead and show you the... Uh, nozzle setup. I can also show you the nozzle here that comes with it. I'll show you that in a second. All right. There it is. It's that same style. Let's see if I can put this in here. Yep, there we go. Now these cups I imagine are not polished as that's a feature with their other the other line. You have to get these things out of this foam when you first get it. Hold on, guys, one second. Let me get this out. Yeah, not quite as polished. Yeah. What you do is you get the two cup sizes. Look at that. Oh, hold on. I'm not even on camera here. Two cups. Real large one, too, thrown in there. So, uh, really good uh, looking quality here at an entry level. Yeah, airbrush. I'm just going to get my the nozzle out so I can show you guys. Really good quality here for its price point because it has many of the components as their top model has. Yep, there it is. It comes with the extra .5 needle and nozzle combo. And there it is with the, the chambers. There we go. So let's put that back in here. It, came, it comes shipped with the uh, .38, uh, .35, .35. We'll put that back in here. All of them have a quick release cap. Can't beat that at all, man. That's a great feature. All right, we'll put that in here. And uh, yep, there we go. All right, so for the test, I will keep each of these on here. 
so I know each gun. All right, we'll start with the top model, which is their Ace at the moment. Oh, what am I doing? It's right here. <laughs> I left it out. It's right there. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to try with some primer. We'll prime a kit. Then we're going to see how these push out. Oops. We're going to see how these push out in acrylic. So we're going to go with some model air steel from Vallejo. And we're going to do some basic uh, lines. Maybe we'll do some lines first to see how fine and detailed it sprays. So we'll put some black in there and, uh, for the lines. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead over to the paste spray booth. Let me turn on the compressor. I'm going to dial that baby down to around 15 PSI to see if it performs as it should. I'll meet you at the booth. All right, guys, I'm at the booth. I don't have the camera mounted just yet. I'm going to go ahead and do the Gallery A series. And another bonus is it's marked on the gun, the name. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the air pressure. 15. Can you see it? 15 PSI. So we are pretty low. Oh, here's the... Well, I'll show you that in a second. Let me put this in the mount. Sorry, guys. I'm doing everything in real time here. That's how I like to do it. This is the A series. The 80, 98D, we put that back, check this out, it says it on the gun, if you buy more than one, there's the name, Ace, so uh, pretty convenient, instead of looking for a number, you just look for the name, I uh, mixed up some of the black, Tamiya, let's go ahead and pour her in, there we go, all right, wow, we really... It is pushing a lot of paint with only 15 PSI. Let's go ahead and old spoon test this. It atomizes the paint really well, actually. All right, let me turn up the PSI, see if there's a difference. Oh, not really. And you can get in kind of close. So yeah, you can you can spray this with a low PSI. And um, we'll use a piece of paper now and see how uh, how well it um, we could do fine lines. Now this is the this is the point five. So I don't know how fine we're going to be able to get this. Let me make sure it's back down to fifteen. Right, let's see what we get here. Not quite ready with the feel of this thing yet. I haven't used it a lot yet. Let's take off the needle. I mean the cap. This way we can get in a little closer. Wow, I can... <laughs> this is with the .5. <laughs> you see some sputtering, but that's because I'm not used to it. Once I get the feel and I get it in there... Check this out. I mean, that is pretty fine. It's not spitting. Let's see how it does. So, yeah, we can cover. I'm trying to see if we can cover a good area. We can. Check this out. Wow, really, really good. It, it, it's uh, really good control. Pretty impressive. I'm looking for uh, just anything else to paint. Let's do another spoon. It does atomize the paint really well. Trying to load it up, try to make it run, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, let's put the cap on. Let's see how it uh, it is to clean out. Let me get rid of this paint. I'll come back and we'll clean it out here in the booth. But, uh, yeah, really, this is a uh, this controls as good as any of brushes I would want. It's pretty good, man. This is really good. We'll try it with the uh, primer next. It looks like I can do just about anything. Imagine putting in the, the, the smaller needle, you probably get even finer. 
All right, let me put this aside. All right, let me clear out this. I'll come back and we'll clean it here live on camera. All right, guys, this being, uh, here's my acetone. This being uh, Tamiya, we can go ahead and use a little alcohol. So let's see what that does. All right, so you want to clean off the side of the cup. So I like to use my, uh, my famous um, cotton swabs here that I just got back in stock. Let's blow some of this out. Just want to see how it cleans out the cup, you know. All right, let's dump that out. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks good already. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Not bad. Let's try and wipe it. The Q-tip got most of it. But look how <laughs> clean it is already. All right, let's go in with some acetone. And we'll do a back flush is which, what they recommend. So let's go ahead and cover up the front. And you can also use the cap that came with it, which I do like. I collect those things, man. They're important. They're good to have. There we go. There's the back flush. There's some black paint in there. Really, really doesn't spray the bubbles all over the place like some of my other ones does. All right. Let's dump that out. Pretty clean, though. Look at that. I mean, that's dumped right out. All right. We'll put another blast in. Let's see if it's blowing clean. Absolutely clean. Can you see it blowing it? No black at all. It looks great. So it's an easy to clean. Big bonus for me. Um, always important to uh, have an easy cleaning gun. And this is one. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is a winner right here. I do like this brush quite a bit. Um, all right, we're going to put some primer in it. We'll see how it works with some primer. Then we'll move on to test the other brushes. All right, guys, still working with the Ace. I'm going to see how it does with some primer. Primer right here. We're going to use my AK. I use this because i got a couple of bottles of it, so I'll also use that for the test. Let's top that off. All right, before we do the car, let's go ahead and see how it's spraying this stuff on a spoon. I turned it up to 18 PSI. You can probably go to 20 easily. You might not even have to with the... Uh, you probably use one of those lower quality air compressors with this if it's going to push paint at 14 PSI. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. Wow, it, um, yeah, it, push, <laughs> it pushes the, the primer no problem. Look how even that went on. All right, let's go ahead. Let's put this aside. Let's go ahead and see how we can prime this car here. All right, Oops. here we go. This would take a few coats because the car is blue. You know, I got a lot of kits that are molded in red. You know, you buy a Ferrari kit. They always come molded in red. And if you're not, if you do it like me, you're going to put primer. Or if you're going to put it in enamel. And certain lacquers don't need a primer. But being a red base or this blue one, you're going to need some kind of primer or some kind of base. In here, it doesn't matter. It gets painted black where the lights are. But look, there's still a lot in there. So that's how good it's atomizing this uh, primer. And look at this. It's good for two coats. And you're good to go. Look at this. Wow. I mean, really good discovery, this airbrush, guys. This is a, I mean, long term, we'll find out. I could tell it's quality because it was independently designed. It didn't just call a factory and say, give us some airbrushes and stick my name on it. They didn't do that here. Wow. I mean, look how even. It looks bluish still, but it's not. You'll, you'll, I'll show you at the bench the, uh, the job it did.
I'm going to go inside here like I was showing you, really getting in here. As I said, it doesn't matter because it's uh, that gets painted black on the car itself. Oh, a little bit right here, I can see. But uh, yeah, this is good for a, this car would be ready to go. Um, still some in there and I'm done. Look, there's still paint in there. There's still primer in there. Look at that. So huge thumbs up and it has both needles. Very positive uh, review so far. Uh, we'll try the other two guns now. We'll see how they perform. Let me clean this out. Same technique we did earlier and we'll change airbrushes. All right, guys, next up is the premium. I think the lighting here. Premium, it's written right here. All right, let's see. This is a point three. Hold on, let me see what it is. 0.38 is the point three eight. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Yeah, this will let you get in even finer lines if you get. Uh, I gotta take the cap off. There we go. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Once I get it flowing, I got it going. All right. So just as well as the other one. Let's see what we get here for broad strokes. Doesn't push as much. See it? Let's try it on a spoon. I think a wider area will turn it up. I have it turned down. We'll go up to 20. I have it turned down because I wanted to try the fine lines. Here we go. All right. Now, just so you guys know, I'm going to show you what I'm spraying here. Hold on. Gloss black base from All Clad is what I was actually spraying. And, uh, yeah, it... Um, it, it's good. It's really good. So, this will do it just like the other one. The only, the only difference is the uh, you're just getting the one needle with this. But at that 38 size, it's a really unique and good size. It's like in between the two. And at 89 bucks, phenomenal. Um, I would go for the 121. I would go for the Ace. That's just me. Both the convenience of having both nozzles but it looks like at 89 bucks this would probably do everything you would want it to do and um, no problems whatsoever so uh, let's clean this out and we'll try their $40 model and we'll do that next all right last but not least is their advanced their entry-level model the $40 model I put the uh, 5.5 milliliter millimeter millimeter needle in it and because I'm going to test it with some uh, model air acrylic from Vallejo I usually like to go with the biggest needle I can get so let's go ahead and oh it pushes it out nice check this out wow it it, uh, <laughs> it sprays this stuff really good let's try it again Wow. You know what? I'm going to lower the air pressure. It's at 18 now. Let's go to 14. All right. Lock that in. Around 14, 15. See if it can still push out this Vallejo. Yep. Wow. Really impressive. All right. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can get a... Let me get a piece of black cardboard here, seeing that it's silver. This is a big needle, but let's see if this can uh, give us some fine lines. i got to take off this cap, though, guys. One second. Take off the front so get a little closer. Here we go. Yeah, we're just not going to get as fine a line I'm trying here. Tough with a silver type paint anyway, but not like the uh, 
it's not performing like the uh, the top model, the uh, their Ace. Definitely, it's the same needle. I mean, I did this with the 0.5 on that model. So let's go a little closer here. Again, not bad. I mean, it is silver paint, which is different. Let's see how wide we can get it. Let's see. Yeah, this is pushing good. Vallejo, you know, out of the bottle here, I put some flow improver in it. It's really tough, you know, to lay down. This is pretty impressive. Let's uh, let's try something here. I'm going to put a little more in. I don't have much left, but let's go ahead and put a little more in. We'll spray like a little piece of this car. All right, I'm trying to get it so I can get both ends. Here we go. I'd like to get one side done, you know. Now these paints will dry matte. That's what they are. They're all matte paints. So we'll have to, uh, this will need a gloss coat, should I have kept it this color. But look at that. Best $40 airbrush I think I've tested. This is, uh, I mean, if it has some of the components that's in the other airbrush, really, really well, well built. This is the $40 one. I do like the other one a little better, obviously, so I can get it finer details and atomize it a little bit nicer. But I really stretch this out. This is acrylic, so wash right off my hands. And I figure at this point, let's just get the whole body done. I should have just used the stand, right? I just want to use up the rest of the paint. This will dry all even and flat. Ooh, I just ruined it. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. I'll put this in the dehydrator. We'll let it dry. Not that it matters. I just wanted to see how it went on. Let me clean this out. We'll go back and wrap up this review of these excellent, excellent new airbrushes. All right, guys. Here we are at the bench. Fantastic results. And uh, truly impressed. The top of the line, $120. By the way, I got a discount, guys, for you. 20% off. Stay tuned to the end here. I got a discount code. Um, and it pushed this. Look at the primer. Look at the job it did on this. That was me second. I was just, you know, just want to see how it went on. It is smooth. I don't even think I have to sand this. It's it's phenomenal. It laid it down beautifully. This is the first thing we did, right, was the spoon. Look at that. That's Tamiya. All right, let me a second. Hold on, guys. I got one more piece, I think. Sorry, guys. I thought I had another piece, but I was thinking of the other ones. So anyway, that is their top model. And, um, of course, don't forget, you can switch off uh, between needle sizes quite quickly with the drop-in nozzle. That's it after I cleaned it out. You've seen it. It cleaned out really quick. Look at this. It's smooth as silk. Look at that. So, uh... You know me, I would always go for the top model, but you know what? Nobody performed poorly here. The next model down at 89 bucks, same exact performance pretty much. Not getting as many options, but you are getting the polished cup and the fine atomization. And then the third model, the $40 model, not the polished cup, but not bad you can see the mirror effect there this is more of your standard uh, is that a here and there no nope. just the way it's reflecting see it now the results on this I mean I, I laid the silver down on this spoon it's beautiful that's the uh, Vallejo sometimes tricky to uh, get the spray but I I pulled this car out and I was gonna spray it quick just to see it <laughs> I could pretty much leave it in this color. It just laid it down beautifully. And this is the $40 model. Look at that. Check it out, man. I would have put more fine details and sanded it. You know, this is a really crappy old model. It's just, that's why I grabbed it. It's a small scale, which I don't build. But <laughs> anyway, uh, 
a wonderful upstart company. They knew what they were doing. They designed these beautifully. I have nothing bad to say about them. Um, I got a bunch of these things sent to me. They're a lot of my junk. I don't review them because I wouldn't even. Uh, I wouldn't put the time in. It's something I wouldn't use. I like to. I like to show you guys what I'm using, and uh, I have so many choices here that when I'm using something, that means it, it really is special and it works. And I will be using these. These will be in the rotation. When I'm testing a paint now, you probably, guys are probably going to see me using this as often as my uh, beloved uh, GSI Krios or my Badger Patriot, my workhorses. But I don't see these um, getting shoved in the back. I think I'm going to be using these quite often. I really do like the top model. Um, like, again, I said, you know, the Ace, that, that's just me. I like how everyone is named on it. So if you buy more than one, you don't have to look for the number if you're reaching for one. They actually have the name stamped right on it. Hold on. There's the premium. It even says 38 on it. And there you go. So, uh, anyway, guys, I will put a link below for each one. Uh, I'll start with the Ace, the Premium, to the Advanced. I'll put links right below. And I'm going to put a coupon code, forget this, for a few weeks, 20% off. 20% off. So you'll be getting your uh, top model, uh, what is it, just around 100 bucks. So uh, <laughs> a bargain. It's going to be just under 100 bucks, probably 99 um, for the top model, and then you're going in at uh, in the seventy dollar range, and what is twenty percent off for forty? Think about it. You guys are getting a bargain here. Um, I really like them. I want to thank the guys at Gallery for sending me these. I want you guys to know they're sending me more products. I got an air compressor set that they're sending me, and they're sending me their paints, both of which might be here tomorrow. So I hope to have another test up for those products for the weekend. But uh, uh, yeah, don't have to shy away from these. Um, it is a great brand, right down to uh, one of the features that I like. Right down to, in the inside cover, is the uh, schematic and the part list, so you'll never lose that. And um, the extra washers, really, really good stuff. Well thought out, you know, and uh, just a top product for me, a thumbs up for me. Anyway, guys, if you want them, don't forget the link below. And... Um, Click it through so that he knows. If you use my links, he'll know uh, I recommended. And um, maybe they'll send me even more products to test. But uh, these were sent to me. I really did like them. If I didn't, I would not have done the review. Um, it's just uh, it's just a great product. Anyway, guys, don't forget. Now you're going to see a coupon code below. Make sure you copy and paste that in the Amazon links I'm going to put. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. I'm going to see you closer to the weekend, if not on the weekend, with another review. I hope to have the compressor. If not, i got another uh, test coming up with some new products that I'm using and um, a few other things, a couple other things coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks, man. Like the video, very important. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification button so you know when I put up another video. I'm aiming at two videos a week now, and uh, it's been going pretty smoothly. You guys have been absolutely the best. God bless you all. You guys are great. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day, rest of your week. We'll see you in the next video.